You know, this is what people are deluded. It is not an achievement. It is something which is already there. It doesn't take any effort on your part. Your doing is that which prevents you. Now, I'm not saying you don't do anything, but if you simply relax totally and make no effort, awareness is there. And then you start moving. A child moves with awareness. It doesn't mean that you don't do things, but you don't say, this is mine and not yours. And you actually are still immersed in the oneness of existence. And when you come back to that, and that's why I was saying you're making these baby sounds, you make the baby sound, the b or the p, it takes you back immediately to that space before you had language before you had words. It's already there. And if you get just one glimpse of eternity, you will never be the same again. It will haunt you. And if it doesn't haunt you, I'm going to come back and haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll tell you a funny story sort of in the, in the church you know they're having sort of mass and something and the priest was at the doorway and this girl came in sort of when and she was uncovered and both her breasts were there and the priest said to her he, he, he said it's not right that you come in and she says, oh, no. Um, what should I do? He said, well, both are beautiful, but go home and cover them up. So what would you say about the priest? <laughs> yeah. And when he says, not right, and said, oh, and she went, but both are beautiful. He was looking at them both, not just the right one. <laughs> this is how the whole world functions. You say, that's bad, you shouldn't do that. And then, of course, you get deviations. You get sexual deviations. You get deviations with anger and you try to suppress and sort of, then it all that comes out, boom. Suppression is not the way of awareness. What to do with anger? How do you transform anger? How do you transform sex from lust into prayer? By bringing awareness to it. Finding the source of the anger. Where is the anger now in your body? So, where is the source of the anger? How to find it? Well, when it comes, you immediately close your eyes and you say, where is it in my body? What colour is it? How big is it? Is it moving or stationary? And this brings your awareness to the anger and then it dissolves. Now if you keep doing that, the energy involved in the anger must go somewhere. Where does it go? It starts rising doesn't just stay there stagnant, no. Energy is aroused, it moves. Then, so then it starts rising. And this is called the rising of consciousness, going through the chakras. And if you keep doing that, this is how you transform a negative into a positive, bringing the total awareness, and it dissolves, and then the energy starts moving upwards. Just like that. And you are meant to be here. It's not a question of worthy or unworthy. You are meant to be here. You are meant to be here to be yourself, not like anybody else. And I'm not talking about Michael, I'm talking about you. That which is 
takes no effort on your part. You don't have to try to be yourself, your natural self. No effort is needed. You are meant to be. Existence needs you. We don't understand. It's a mystery. But it needs you to be here. Without you, it would be very upset. I know it told me that you have to be here. 